And people look at it like, what? how many Why people you are in your bedroom? It is a 15 minute morning show podcast. And here we go around the room. We've got Gandhi. We've got Scary. Hello. We've got uh, Garrett. We've got Scotty B in Master Hi. Control. We've got Danielle. Hello. We've got Nate. Mm -hmm. And of course, in beautiful Jacksonville, Florida, Froggy. Hi, Froggy. Hello. 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 So, you know, an interesting story came out yesterday about Elon Musk. He took a picture of his nightstand, the one next to his bed. Right. And on it was uh, a vast collection of Diet Coke cans with no coasters, two <laughs> massive guns, uh, a picture. Of, he also had uh, a film prop of some sort. Yeah, I think one of them was like a prop gun. Yeah, one of the guns. And also some other like weird artwork, which is kind of odd. I think it was whatever happened on Christmas Day in the American Revolution. Yeah, it was... <laughs> Just kind of He's, odd thing. He just wants people to talk about him. That's He's, all. Well, no, it is. maybe that is. Do you know what? It's Elon Musk. God only knows what's on his bed stand. So the question is, what's on your bed stand? Oh, that we would find interesting. Hmm. Find Anyone have anything interesting? interesting? Not in the bed stand because that's wow. where you keep your toys. Yeah, yeah. I have out. A, I have a phone, like an actual, like old school landline phone, and people look at it like. How many Why people you... are in your bedroom? I was, I was... Well, my, well, my girlfriend, for instance. I actually have landline phones around my house. That's why I'm thinking about that. But yep. if I'm being honest, the, it's it's weird because people gave up phones 10, 15 years ago. I have one. But I have I have one yeah. sitting I on my too. I have yeah. one, too. You know, the reason why, well, I have several reasons. I, I have bad cell service in my apartment and yeah. no cell service at my house. So I have yeah. to I have a landline or I'm yeah. not connected. Yeah. Right. So but, there. Yeah, that was boring. So don't, don't feel so weird. Don't let the people... Bring you down. Yeah. I also have a, uh, a headless skeleton best costume for Halloween trophy sitting on my night table. I don't know why I just haven't got rid of it yet. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, looks scary every Gandhi? day. Um, well, I have a collection of like rocks and crystals that are supposed to cleanse the aura at night and protect me. Because How's that working out for you? Doesn't work at all. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Sleep paralysis demon is stronger than ever. Yeah. Are you still experiencing a lot of sleep paralysis? Oh, yeah. It happens all the time. It's terrible. If I ever sleep over at one of your homes and I wake up screaming, just ignore it. Oh, my jeez. We'll get over I was at dinner creepy. with a friend the other night, and she she has had so many episodes of sleep paralysis that she's kind of used to it. It doesn't freak her out anymore. Oh, that must be nice. It still freaks me out. And I feel like it comes back with a vengeance. If I'm like, oh, this is just sleep paralysis, it's okay, and you try to talk yourself out of it, then no. it just gets worse and worse. Like, I was at my parents' house last Christmas, and I woke up screaming. Both of them were in my room like, wake up. I freaked them out. It's bad. So I yeah. was watching a movie with this. And this is kind of scary. So the woman was going through sleep paralysis. Her husband gets out of bed to help her. And in the middle of the whole episode, he winds up having a heart attack. <gasps> She's having sleep paralysis. So she can't help him. And she watches him die ah! right in front of her. Dude. Good God, dude. Yeah, what movie is this? That's the worst shit time? ever. <laughs> All I did was wanted to know what you have on your bed stand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why is Tom Pullman in oh, oh, let's, yeah. oh, let's bring Tom in and make him uncomfortable like you. Oh. Like yeah, let's always. ask him about sleep paralysis. <laughs> <laughs> no, about what's on his bed stand. Do, have any, none of you guys have ever had no. sleep paralysis? I've had it, it multiple no. times, and it's horrifying. Like, you think you would get desensitized yeah. to it? It's awful. Oh, it's is the it the same as sleepwalking? No. 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 I've had it that I know of. I've had it once. We're talking about sleep paralysis, Tom Pullman. Really? Yeah. Have you read Have you read sleep paralysis? I have had, like... Well, lately, uh, I wake up and Sorry. Yes. Hello. <laughs> so you've had sleep paralysis? No. Well, wh what is that exactly? It's where you have paralysis while you're sleeping. It's basically well, how would I know then? Awake, but your body won't respond. Was that like a nightmare, yeah. though? Yes. Uh, kind yeah, of. yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I have, like, it's sort of like like night terror kind of thing. Oh, where, where, oh yeah. Where you... Where you you feel like you can't move, but That's things it. are happening. Yeah, yeah no, I got yeah. that. You're, yeah. You feel like you're wide awake, but yeah. you just can't move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No yeah. And then you, you sort of try to scream or something. Yes, and yes. And My it comes out like a. <sighs> I bet in your head, it's crazy. I bet you get <laughs> analysis paralysis. You know what analysis paralysis is? When you have oh. so many, so many choices and options and things that you get nothing Scary. done because you just can't make. Wait, a decision. is this why you're sleeping? It's an analysis. Gary's <laughs> analyzing it's Tom Pullman. It's, oh, okay. it's, 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 it's at a, a restaurant. It's a yes. It's a form of paralysis. No, I, I understand. Yeah. But you, I thought we were talking about sleeping. Talk about we're talking about all 
Did, 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 did I come in late? You know, we're talking about <laughs> sleep paralysis. But you do a lot of analysis. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Hey, so uh, the question is this. Did you see the article out yesterday about Elon Musk and what he has on his bed stand? No. Like two big <laughs> pistols and some Coke cans, whatever. Great. What is on your bed stand right now? Not that. <laughs> <laughs> is there on your bed stand? No, I mean... Uh, we just had somebody clean up the house yesterday, so it's all clean at the moment. I mean, yeah. it's usually just what's in my pocket before I go to work, you know? Okay, all right. Yeah. What about you, Danielle? I have a, a stuffed animal whose name is Scooch, and Sheldon yeah. gave him to me the night of our wedding because we didn't sleep in the same house, and he's always there, and then when I go away somewhere, I take him with me, and then when I come back, I put him back. See, n- yeah. nightstands, I mean, they're, right. it's a very intimate part of your life. I mean, yeah. It's there with you as you go to bed and there with you as you wake up. What about you, Garrett? So I have a photo of my family and then all my friends. But it is weird, though, especially like when you're, you know, trying to have sex with your wife and your friends are staring at you. <laughs> it's weird with you in the room because your book is in my my bedroom. My, yes. And, and it's right there on my bedstand. So I feel like you are judging me from afar because you're looking. Yeah, this. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. This. Why? Where yeah. are your fingers going? Yeah. Why are you doing it that question. way? And this is what I see. <laughs> okay. Well, she doesn't look you, happy. Know, you have control over so, that. Oh, yeah. I do yeah. because now the book l- looks like this, face down. And all that. <laughs> all right. What about you? Hey, what's on your? You know, what's on your? Or not, for the longest time, I had this on my nightstand. Queen, Queen Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Queen Elizabeth. The but, waving but, Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had that for the longest time, but then I brought it into work because it was kind of creepy. To Do you miss her? <laughs> a little bit. Yep. Like having a friend. You know? Frog, what's on your nightstand? Well, it, I can explain. So, oh, I, boy, it's one of these. So the other day, we had a friend in in in, in the uh, in, in our house, and they walked through our bedroom, and there there was uh, there's a washcloth on the nightstand, and they said, "Oh God!" Should. But it's not that. Said. It's not that. No, the dogs <laughs> sleep in our room, and one of our dogs he tends to puke at night sometimes. So I just leave it there to, so I have something to grab it with if, in case okay. it happens. I'm not Even running around the house. Ready to go. <laughs> right. But it's not what you think it is on the nightstand. It's not. And I have to explain that. And I'm it's tired a, of explaining well, it. Well, no. It's a is puke. It it's a puke rag. Yeah. Right. For the dog. I'm not even going to tell you what's on my nightstand. Go Because you'll think it's, it's a bougie, bougie thing. What is what? it? Boy. Candelabra. I have this little box with buttons on it, and I can push buttons and different lights in the house go off and on. <laughs> <laughs> and it's I can fun. make the, 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 the shades go up and down. Yeah, Elon Musk oh, we do that. Like we have that. that. Oh, you have a Lutron? Yeah. Yes. Well, the shades. Yeah. Oh. oh. Yeah, I think but Elon Musk would have what you guys I just no, tell a- 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 A-L-E-X-A to turn the lights on and off because we have those little Wemo plugs, and then she does yeah. it for us. There you oh. go. So there you go. That's our interesting <laughs> conversation on our podcast. I asked Tom about his first uh, th- Thanksgiving and Christmas as a grandfather. Yeah, great. Oh, it was great. Oh. Henry Henry is uh, a month old. Henry, by the way, is a cool name. Yeah. yeah. No, it's great. And he had his eyes open more. You know, the oh. first couple hours that I saw him, he was kind of like sleeping the whole time. Right. But now he's uh, alert and really cute. So cute. Nice. We put him on the table like a turkey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in his little bumbo? Did you put him in his little bumbo? His little bumbo seat on the Thanksgiving Day table? Uh, no, but we should have. Oh, we crammed him in the cornucopia. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> put him on a tray. Uh, what's it like? I mean, because you and I are the same age. Yeah. I would do anything, first of all, to be a parent. But to be a grandparent, I mean, how different is that than having It's great. Your own it kid? brings back all these memories, but the the of, you know, when Michael was a little boy. Mm-hmm. Uh but now seeing him be a father is like a whole new thing. It's like uh it's like wait, how did this happen? Because yeah. he was running around the studio not long ago, you know. Right. right. A little My boy. mom says it's the best thing because you can give them back at the end of the day. Yeah. You don't keep them anymore. It's fantastic being a grandma. Sounds like a positive. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. And Henry is one of those names that was big a long time ago, and then it disappeared, and then it it came back. Is there someone in particular they named Henry after? No. It's just it's the first time in the Pullman family. And he's he's like royalty, yeah. Henry Lawrence yeah. Pullman. Oh. You know, can they nickname him Hank? So cute. Hank. I, think I don't know. No, I don't know. No. Hanky. No. The Christmas poo. Mr. Hanky. <laughs> Mr. Hanky. Hanky. But hey, it, it's exciting. Any complaints coming in about our show recently? Is it something we should address? No, I, that's why I came to see what's wrong. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, I'm not going to mention names. There are many shows under your umbrella oh, of God. shows. And there's a lot of complaints rolling in for different reasons. Oh, every day there's we, something. We actually are... Real, real good oh, you, kids. You just cursed it. Damn it, Duran. That's it. Uh, Here we go. Tomorrow's yeah, day. Yeah, a couple months. I'll tell you what, the, the complaints have increased by tenfold since Gandhi arrived. This is true. <laughs> oh. I got to keep you busy. I yeah. have a question for Tom. <laughs> what? So, Tom, we've got like T minus, what, uh, 15 days in here? Until yeah. we leave this facility? I'm not leaving. 
All right, Leo. Question is. Every place but your office, can we take a sledgehammer to? Can we smash this place to smithereens? <laughs> I don't think that's allowed. But uh, I mean, we don't own it. It's not a house. We're renting. Yeah. yeah but you don't gonna smash demo, like Airbnb. Demo it when we're they're going to charge Maybe. us for the damaged walls. I don't know. Well, let's, we'll, we'll Do find we have out. to get our deposit back? We'll, we'll, ask, <laughs> we'll ask and find out. Okay. But I tell you, it, it, it's this, this building is like. A tube of toothpaste. It, they're slowly squeezing us out the end. Because yeah. everything's just falling the fuck oh, apart. Like, you walk into my office and try to turn on a light. You can't turn Were lights on. Were you here on. yesterday when there was, like, yeah. burning rubber smell oh, coming yeah, through the vents? Like that was wonderful. Coming the, through the vents. The building was on fire yeah. yesterday. You I walk into Garrett Studio, no lights. You can't turn lights on. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I was down at the other end. I didn't smell anything. Oh, that's but... horrible. <laughs> well... What? <laughs> Where's that going? <laughs> anyway, how are we doing on time? I got nothing. Are we good? Uh, yeah. You got the button. Yeah. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. Well, I was kind of hoping you say no. We're out of time. Uh, no, you got you got three minutes left, but you can oh, do whatever you want. Damn. Your oh, name on the show. Tom's, Tom's daughter, Kelly Pullman. She is so gorgeous. He oh. keeps posting pictures. First of all, she gets that from mom. Her hair color is gorgeous. <laughs> She's got like this reddish hair. She is so beautiful. Every time I see her, I'm like, oh my gosh, she grew up. Crazy. Yeah. And she's got the two different colored eyes. Uh, yeah, that's right. Oh, she does? Yeah. yeah. She's that's cool. Your, do your daughter's heterochromic. <laughs> heterochromic. I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> Tom's like, yeah, I guess. <laughs> agree. That's what the cool kids call I remember it. the first time I met little Kelly, she was breastfeeding on my couch. Yep. Yeah, in the studio. That's crazy. No, in my house. Oh, okay. But also in the studio. <laughs> we, we did, remember when we had Elliot and he was uh, something about breastfeeding and he yeah. came up. Yep. The first time she ever breastfed in front of me was in my house. Wow. Wow. Remember that? No. <laughs> no. In the studio. I'm sure she's going to love this part of the conversation. Yeah. yeah. I was going to tell her to tune in when Daniel was saying nice things. But <laughs> well, I'm not going to tell her now. There's nothing wrong with breastfeeding. It's a part of life. It is. Remember Come when here, I used, let me breastfeed on you. I used to, okay. Remember when I used to pump in the studio, like during the show, I'd be like, I have to go now and pump, and I would pump, and then Greg T, when he was on the show, he would take a bottle and try to drink it and taste it and see uh, what I ate for breakfast. Uh, remember the day that Straight Nate up. pumped right here on this he desk? Did. Yeah. yeah. That's right. His wife. We gotta know. He had sex on a weekend right here. Oh. And now Look Tom's going to leave. Here he goes. All right. This is when Tom leaves. Good see you. Bye, Tom. Bye, Tom. We there he goes. Episode uh, without making you should leave. know that. When, <laughs> when Nate's not, no longer here tomorrow, we know right. why. It's not too late to file a grievance. <laughs> I've never seen Nate so red. Why are you red? You had intercourse right here. I don't mind you guys knowing it. Not the chief of president, the program, or whatever the hell he is. Yeah, I know, but I walk in and Scary's like sniffing the desk. Oh, <laughs> come on now. That's oh, oh, cool. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.